Hello and welcome. I'm Nick 42 and in this episode we're going to be looking at cool advice. On the hunt for making a some cool stuff uh, and some useful stuff, I thought I would find a vice. So I found a vice on Thingiverse, here it is. And I thought that's cool. I'm going to print it. I have two filaments up on the on the uh, on the rack, so I could do it in blue uh, for the screws and white for the main bits. Now I did record one time lapse for this. Uh, it's not um, conclusive of all the time lapses that you needed for this. It was a uh, one, two, three, four, uh, four or so part um, piece. Uh, and a lot of the parts were very big and also very bulky, so uh, I, I guess you can you, you could see the one time lapse that we did take. But other than that, um, well, here's the item. This is the vice. Now, the part that you saw was the bit that was here. So let me just unscrew this. Uh, it unscrews really nicely, by the way. So it's crazy how well this was this was actually uh, designed, I guess you could say. Um, so the two screws are exactly the same. This one is a very, very long screw. And this took uh, a couple of hours to print. Uh, we've got a really small screw down here as well. This one is the one to tighten it up to the bench. So, yeah, that's cool as well. These are both the same thickness screw, so if you really need to, you can put one into the other or whatever. And just the, the fact that it works so flawlessly, like this, I didn't have to like push this through or force it through or anything like that. It just fit. Um, and that was amazing. So you can put the screw in, obviously you push it back. Um, and you have a vice, and you can twist it to tighten it up onto things. Um, now, what might have been a bit better would be if the vice did have some kind of uh, handle on this bit here. Maybe there's a handle available online for it, or if not, maybe I'll print one because eventually I'll probably need something like that. Uh, excuse me as well, by the way, I'm a little bit bunged up. I have a bit of a cold at the moment, um, so yeah, that's that. So you can tighten this up quite tight and. I mean, it's, it's moving a little bit, but, you know, it will hold stuff there that you need, uh, which is mainly what I wanted the vice for, was for either small electronic bits, um, which are a bit awkward to hold sometimes, if, especially if it's just one of you, um, and other small things like that, maybe for, for painting things in the future, I'd use it, or something like that. Oh, wow, that's tight. The thing is, as well, with this at the bottom here, is it doesn't fit perfectly onto my desk, so I was hoping to put it maybe here, or something like that. Now, I have a big metal bar underneath here, uh, which you can't see because the camera doesn't extend that far. But, I mean, I can kind of fit it there, but I'll need to put something underneath here, uh, like a bit of flat plastic or maybe a thick bit of plastic or, or something. And then I can just tighten it up and lift it up to that point. Once that's done, this will be a good piece. It'll be a great piece. It looks great. Um, and maybe when I move to another place or whatever, we'll get a bigger table. Because I need a lot more space than what I have right now. We'll have a bigger table, which means that we'll be able to um, clamp it down to the desk a bit more securely. That is about it for this episode. It's a cool piece. Let me know if you guys have tried it out before or if you have one already. I'd love to see the, uh, the print from your side and how it came out for you. Uh, for me, it, it's a great looking piece. I really like it. Um, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe, let me think, follow me on Twitter, that's at Nathan42, and thanks for watching.